If you don't like pip or pip tools in virtual environment, the quintessential Python tools, then there is a drop and replacement tool which is called as UV. UV has been built by Astrol, which are providing next generation Python tools. I will drop the link to their website as it seems quite interesting and I will let you explore it. But I'm going to just describe as how you can install UV on Windows and then how you can play around with it, especially when it comes to creating virtual environment. Now, before I do that, let me give you a quick overview of UV and you can read further in this GitHub repo of UV, which is quite nicely written. Now, UV is, as I said, extremely fast Python package installer and resolver. It has been written in Rust language and you can use it as an alternative to pip, pip tools and virtual environment. It, it has um, been powered by a warm cache as UV installs are near instant and you can use it in the same way as you would use pip to handle Python packages but there are few limitations such as you cannot use egg dependencies and few others and pip is quite mature so UV is quite new so there are various packages which UV still doesn't support but having said that at the moment UV allows you to be more fast more efficient and it makes installing packages and solving dependencies much much faster than in some cases 10 to 100 times faster it also saves disk space because it uses a global cache and you can use this UV on Mac, Linux and Windows. You don't need to do much in order to get it installed. You, all you need to do is to either you can use pip, of course it's a pip replacement, so you just use pip to install it. Or you can use pip X, you can even use PowerShell to install it on Windows. And you can use brew tool too. Okay. Now having said that, let me take you to my terminal and then I'll show you how to install it. This is my terminal as you can see. And in order, okay, let me click, click there. This is my terminal and this is a Windows system by the way and I'm using git bash. In order to install it, just type pip install uv. That's it. It is installing the uv and uv has been installed. Let me clear my screen and I'll just say uv-v to check the version. Nope, it doesn't show me. I'll just check. What's the version command? There you go. So version command is dash dash version and it's the latest version. Let me clear the screen. Now, in order to create the virtual environment, all you need to do is to just type UV and um, I think the command is VENV. -E Let me double check. Yes, UV and VENV. -E there you go. So it has created and now in order to activate it, all you need to do is to simply run this familiar same command which you would run in the uh, pip or any other virtual environment so it's the same thing let me actually enable it and then it is going to show us okay let me do it like this or maybe it's a windows okay so that is why it is a windows one so i would just need to change the slashes here I'm sourcing it. Okay, I need to source it. Cool. There you go. So I have sourced it and it has just put in a, my current directory name, so which is fine. And then you can simply use UV, pip install, and any package of your choice here. So just say flask or anything else, and it is going to install the flask. Look at the speed, how quick it was. Amazing stuff. And then of course you can use the same command in order to deactivate it so that's it guys it was that quick and that easy and simple nothing really fancy about it and i think i'm going to just include this in my toolbox because it's always have to uh, good idea to have it but as i mentioned remember that there are few limitations so go to their github repo and make sure that you read through about the limitations I'll drop the link to the website in video's description. Try it out and let me know what you think. But for the production usage, I would still recommend keep using pip. 
let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network thanks for watching